All right, guys, today I wanted to cover the winners of the SpeedCat events, CAD, and this is from Connor and Carter from 335 and Boilermakers, and here is their CAD, right? So first of all, right away you see that it is you know, kind of what you expect to be a meta CAD this, uh, a meta bot this season, right, with a kind of a change-up style intake and a front-to-front -front scoring, just like so. And also on just banded rollers and kind of a snail bot con configuration. So it's super quick and you can fit like, you know, a good amount. And one thing that I really like about their design is kind of just how compact they were able to make it, right? Because, you know, instead of using the whole robot, they used only like a part, like half the robot, right? Kept the back completely clear. And during the event, I was talking to them and we were kind of chatting about how, it was possible for them to do a park on the back of the robot, right? Because I think a partner climb this year is extremely viable or uh, viable and valuable in where, you know, if you were able to you know, drive into that, that park zone first and you have a big space at the back of your robot or something like that for your for your uh, alliance partner to drive onto, it'd be an extremely valuable uh, asset to have where they can drive on for an extra 30 points. And that's kind of what we see out of this robot here. Uh, so... Going further into it, though, however, we can see that they have these pistons here for it for their kind of active active intake. Where you know you can see these poly poly pieces here, right? Still staying within the poly limit, by the way. So you know that's definitely not as hard as people imagined this year to stay within because of just you know not really needing that much complexity this year. I think. Um, compared to like last year, if you're doing a tier three or something. But anyways, this is kind of their active intake. So then when they're scoring or when they're going to take balls out of the, you know, match load station, they would, they would activate the piston and that would cause this to, you know, kind of close in on itself and kind of like, uh, act, uh, like kind of a intake where it's, you know, just compressing the balls. Right. But when you're not, and you're just driving around the field, this would Un, this would uh, this would let the air out or you know push the air through the other other way. I mean, um, actually, oh sorry, if it's if it's banded, you just have it back here and they would just let the air out and this would open up on both ends, right? And this would greatly increase the diameter of the intake the intaking area, right? Increasing your intaking capa uh, capability when you're just running around the field. If that makes sense, right? This would open up and you'd be able to run around the field just grabbing balls a lot easier. But you need to to be you know kind of closed up when you're when you're doing the match loads anyways they have this d score mech right here which is on pistons on the back here right and you can see that this piece here i don't even think really you really need it i feel like the the one thing i didn't really like about this design was that having this d score mech here especially being three pistons having this d score mech here kind of took away the ability for them to have that park on on this iteration of the robot Right, I feel like you can totally just put it onto onto the front here, uh, onto the side or something, and you when you ram it, it would just you know score. But also, what's interesting is they have this wedge here on the bottom. This uh, wedge that's you know kind of similar to an over under uh, barrier crossing, crossing uh, like um, sliders or wedge, where it allows you to cross the barrier. And this is the same thing where it allows you to cross over that park barrier and easily get into that park zone. And looking at here, another thing is, you know, they weren't able to find a really amazing brain placement for their brain. So, you know, this is kind of unsafe if a team was to park onto here. So that's something that you can consider uh, changing if you want to build something like this. But I think it's honestly really, really good. I think they're running f 600 RPM on 2.75 inch wheels. Once again, super fast drive RPM, like a lot of other teams I think are going to be going for this season. And you know the the compact form factor of this robot with the the fast RPM would definitely make this really competitive in, in tournament play. And also, I'm just once again super surprised of how how compact they were to make the whole thing, even fitting the the intake part itself in only half the half of the form factor, right? And they have this back wedge here, and I'm assuming it's going to flip up and down. So then whenever they're crossing, this can go up a little bit, right? So it's passively. Uh, disbanded downwards or you no know, tension downwards and it's a hard stop but it can go upwards if it wants right but yeah that's that's pretty much we're covering covering everything for this this robot if you want to join robolytics you can join and uh you can you know look at photos of the cat for yourself
Thank you.